America, with its craggy mountains, great forests, with deep, rich valleys, an unlimited storehouse of natural resources. Here are farmlands, rich, abundant farmlands, which have earned the envy and respect of all nations. And American farmers, those men and women who have through their toil made their land so productive. Theirs alone is the right to be termed the most modern and successful farmers in all the world. Truly, this is America the Bounty. But is this bountiful American farmland really as calm and peaceful and safe as it sometimes appears? Well, agriculture, unfortunately, has about 18,000 accidental fatalities and 1,500,000 injuries each year. These are the records of the National Safety Council. These National Safety Council records also reveal that the average yearly farm loss through fire is approximately $90 million. Agricultural leaders have looked to urban communities for better methods, have seen the many safety devices used by large and small cities to hold down their accident rate. search too through factories and industrial plants to examine the methods used there to assure greater safety. From these extensive observations have come many practical suggestions to help develop farm safety. Fully aware of the importance and need for safety on the farm, as well as in the city and factory, and equally aware of the close relationship between agriculture and industry with their interdependent and mutual interests, General Motors again invites participation in the National 4-H Farm Safety Program. This annual countrywide awards program is open to about two million young members of the numerous 4-H clubs which are so much a part of rural America. Thousands always try for the many awards, and the winners always represent every section of the country. This is Charles Colgrove, one of the past award winners. His home is in the Great Northwest, near Junction City, Oregon. The Southern States, too, claimed one of the National Scholarship winners. Miss Hazel Gentry of Greensboro, Georgia. From way down east in Tiverton, Rhode Island, James Gravens proved that he could so successfully apply safety measures on his farm that he was awarded one of the many trips to the National 4-H Club Congress in Chicago. Portales, New Mexico is the home of this young lady who also earned a 4-H safety award. She is Miss Jackie Poole. Another winner whose hometown bears the name Junction City, but this time in the heart of the Midwest in Kansas, is Norman Mann. He, too, was a winner who earned a grand trip to the 4-H Congress. Miss Alberta Stalnayer of Mill Creek, West Virginia, was additional proof that it was not boys alone who achieved all the safety awards.
and from the motor state, Michigan, Filer City, Michigan, came another of the industrious 4-H winners. He is John Miller, Jr. This great need for additional farm safety has long been a foremost endeavor of all the many 4-H leaders. Here, Mr. Milo Downey, Maryland State Boys Club agent, attends one of his state's local 4-H meetings to further the cause of safety on the farm. Hello, boys and girls. I'm glad to be able to attend your 4-H club meeting today and discuss what we all agree to be the most important thing in our lives, safety, farm and home safety. The things that you do to make your farm and home a safer place to live and to create an interest in your fellow club members and in your family. Anything we do, whether it be great or small, in the interest of safety, may help some person eliminate an accident in the future. You may wonder just what you can do for greater farm safety. We have listed on the board under eight headings some of the many possibilities where you may apply safety measures. They are machinery and equipment, buildings in the farmyard, fire, animals, electricity, hand tools, sanitation and health, and the farm home. This list will certainly help you recall something at home on which you can start working right away and thereby eliminate some accident to yourself, some member of your family, or to your neighbors. We hope you and your fellow club members will all enter the National Safety Contest. And remember, always practice safety in whatever you do. Four H leaders, too, strive to promote safety in all its phases on the farm. In an effort to show the young people how they can make the farm a safer place to work and play, these 4-H club members, under the guidance of their county extension agent, Frank Gray, have called an outdoor safety meeting. One of their first lessons is how to handle a pitchfork in the right, safe way. They learn that driveways into the farm can be made safer if they're well marked for night driving. Members of the group take a hand in making this driveway safer. As their meeting continues, these four H'ers learn the importance of a well-protected cistern cover. No chance for children? grown-ups, or even animals to fall into this cistern. The extension agent also explains the need of taking proper care of the family car as well as all farm vehicles. He not only explains, but shows the young people the parts of the car which require attention. Another precaution pointed out is the need to keep away from moving farm equipment. As an example, they see the corn sheller in operation. Silos can be dangerous too. This one, it is explained, is particularly unsafe because it does not have any protection at the top of the ladder. Then they see a far safer silo. This one has a platform to stand on and a protecting ring to give greater safety. This enterprising 4-H club member, Samuel Wilson, realized the hazard of lifting heavy milk cans. So that his dairy would be a safer place to work, he made this milk can lifter himself. The importance of orderly arrangement around the farm and farm buildings is explained to the group. Mr. Gray describes the approved type of electric switch boxes and the need for locating them in a safe place. He tells them about the care of tools 
and that whenever a high-speed electric rhinestone is used, it should be properly guarded, and that safety goggles should always be worn. A handy fire extinguisher is an all-important safety measure. The need for lightning rods to protect farm buildings is described to the group. They learn that if their farm is in an area where electrical storms occur, good lightning rod installations will prevent a serious fire. However, the conductors must be carefully insulated, clear of the building, and well grounded. Many of these on-the-farm 4-H club safety meetings are taking place in all parts of the country today. This way, the members get first-hand practical knowledge as to how they can further promote safety. Watching the men putting hay in the barn, they learn to keep out of the path of the tractor. They learn, too, about the dangers of the pulling rope. Their leader reminds them to always stay a good distance away from it and to see that children are out of its path and everything is in the clear. No 4-H safety meeting would be complete without discussing the precautions which must always be taken when using the tractor power takeoff. The group learns that all tractors have protecting covers for this shaft end and they must be used. On newer models, the improved shields cannot be removed entirely. They can be opened for inspection or adjustments but the operator cannot leave them off. Be sure you always use the power takeoff's protecting cover. Around the farm home, there are a number of things which 4-H members can do to make the home itself a safer place. Putting rubber stops on a kitchen stool to prevent it from slipping is just one of many safety measures which can be performed. Another is to put the various poisons used around the farm up and out of reach of any small children. The same practice applies to household poisons too. They should be carefully marked and placed well out of harm's way. Another hazard around the home could be a rickety stepladder chair. A worthwhile safety project can be that of making it sturdy and safe. Small rugs can be made safer too. Handy rubber rings sewn on the bottom will help prevent slipping, and thereby reduce the chances of someone falling. Guns stored around the house should always be inspected to be certain they are unloaded and then placed in a safe place and locked there, well away from inexperienced hands. Many an accident is caused by a person not being able to see the steps at night. Painting the risers white will help prevent such injuries. One of the most important lessons to be learned is the care and handling of farm tools. Pitchforks in particular should always be stored in a safe, secure place. And the axe, a real safety project, is seeing to it that the head is firmly secured to the handle. To prevent any possibility of someone tripping and falling, Every tool on the farm should be picked up and placed where it belongs. 
4-H'ers learn, too, that household appliances, to be safe, must be kept free of broken wires or plugs. Even toys can be dangerous if they're left for someone to fall over. Here's a young fellow who knows the importance of traffic safety. To be sure his farm is as safe as possible, he is erecting a simple stop sign where the farm road meets the highway. A simple sign, but mighty important. such as this will be helpful to the bus driver. We'll let other motorists know it is there and will make it safer when you and your friends are going to and from school. One of the recent 4-H safety winners is a young man from the state of Maryland. He is Malcolm Heath. Family's farm is located near the village of Street, Maryland. This carefully prepared report book describes exactly what Malcolm did to earn his recognition. He had other projects too, but realizing the importance of safety, he concentrated on it. One of his first safety activities was putting up a no smoking sign in the barn. He also recognized that the hay chute in the barn was a hazard, so he erected a protective bar. Malcolm's home is a dairy and fruit farm. He realized there is a definite hazard from moving machinery. So he built a protective shield over the motor of the apple polishing machine. The first aid kit was another safety item which received Malcolm's regular attention. He made sure it was always handy and filled with necessary supplies. Farm motor vehicles didn't escape his efforts either. Seeing that the truck needed a new windshield wiper blade, made it his business to see that it had one. Once the great need for safety was brought directly home to Malcolm. The next thing he did was to improve that situation. Keeping the ladder safely in repair was one of his jobs. No telling how many men didn't fall because of his safety efforts. A piece of farm equipment Malcolm knew could be a hazard was the farm windmill. He made it his business to see that the windmill brake was always in perfect working order. He knew sealed beam headlights make for safer night driving. Another of his safety measures was replacing the old headlights with new, brighter ones. This sprayer now has a guardrail as a result of Malcolm's good work. More efficient too, for now the man spraying can do a better job. A pet safety job was farm equipment. When the truck stakes and flatbed needed repair, Malcolm repaired them immediately. Another safety precaution Malcolm made sure of was the handling of gasoline. His underground tank provided the safest place to keep this type of fuel. Keeping chains in the car was another of his safety projects. You can be just as safety minded as Malcolm Heaps. Remember there are scholarships, silver medals, 
and trips to the National 4-H Congress for the 4-H boys and girls who do the most to prevent accidents. Local leaders and county extension agents have all the necessary information. For those of you who take part in the National Safety Program, remember, whether you win an award or not, you will still be a winner. All those who practice and apply safety in everything they do and every way they know how cannot lose, for safety in itself is its own reward. We all have a great heritage, perhaps the greatest in all the world. Our lush crops, abundant granaries, the bountiful fields, the heavy laden orchards, the fat grazing cattle, all prove this fact over and over again. Yet of all the crops which are ours, we should be ever mindful to make safety our number one crop.